Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the JavaScript support in your Visual Studio Code editor. So essentially, I'm going to show you how you can run a JavaScript code in your Visual Studio Code editor. So hopefully, you have already installed Visual Studio Code. Now, in order to run JavaScript code inside your Visual Studio Code or any operating system, you need a tool called Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript framework which will allow you to create web applications in JavaScript, right? So if you install Node.js, you will be able to run JavaScript code also. In order to install Node.js, just open your favorite browser and search for Node.js. And the first link which will appear here will be from Node.js. So I'm going to click on this link. At the time of making this video, uh, these are the two versions. I always go with LTS version. LTS stands for long term support versions, right? So they have the support for longer term. So just choose the version which says LTS in front of it. At the time of making this video, 18.15.0 is the latest version. So let me click on this uh, button which will download this Node.js uh, MSI file. So I'm going to click on this msi file once it's downloaded and i'm going to just minimize my browser here so you can see the node.js setup wizard has been started on this window just click on next here click on i accept uh, the terms license agreement click on next this will be the default location where node.js will be installed so if you don't have the good reason to change this just leave it as default and then click on next and then click on next and then uh, you can see automatically install necessary tools. So for now, I don't want to install additional tools, but later on you can install these additional tools for Node.js, right? I'm going to click on next and then click on install and then click on yes, which is going to install Node.js on my Windows operating system. So just wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. And once that's done, you can see completed Node.js uh, setup wizard. Click on finish and Node.js is installed on your Windows operating system. To check whether it's installed correctly, you can uh, just type uh, CMD in search and then click on uh, command prompt and then just type node and then press enter, which is going to uh, open this node REPL, which stands for read eval print loop. Here you can write a very simple JavaScript code. For example, console.log uh, and I can print something here. Okay, so let me print hello world here and then press enter and it prints hello world. So this is essentially the JavaScript code which you are running with the help of this Node.js tool. Now let's open our Visual Studio Code Editor and here I can open a folder or let me show you one more thing. So let's say I have this JavaScript app folder on my desktop where I want to create my JavaScript files. Here I can open this folder and then right click here. Once Visual Studio Code is installed, click on show more options and then click on open with code. And then this folder will be opened in your Visual Studio Code editor. Now, you can also open a command prompt. So just once again, go here, right click, and then open in a terminal. And you can just CD into the folder in which you want to create a JavaScript file and then type code space dot and then press enter, which is also going to open the JavaScript folder or whatever folder you want to open in Visual Studio Code. Now let's create a JavaScript file. So I'm going to just click on this plus sign and then just uh, type uh, test.js, okay? And you can see this file is created. So I can just uh, type console.log and then I can just uh, write hello world here. So you can see uh, Visual Studio Code is going to provide you the IntelliSense also. Just save your file. 
and in order to run your file you can open the terminal from the top so just click on terminal and then click on new terminal and uh, from here you can see the powershell is open you can also open command prompt from here so click on command prompt and because we have installed node we can uh, use node to run our javascript file so i'm going to just write test dot js after node so node space the name of the file which is test dot js in my case and it prints hello world on powershell if you select the powershell here you can just write node and then the name of the file or whatever is the name of the file and then press tab here which is going to auto complete uh, your uh, file name so you can see it has auto completed and on powershell you just write dot backslash or uh, in front of file name right so once again just press enter and, and it prints hello world so this is how you can uh, run the javascript code using the terminal but in visual studio code you can also install some cool extensions to run your code so one such extension is code runner so just search for code runner here so just select this extensions tab first of all so you can see there is this extension tab and then just search for code runner and then select this first option which is called code runner and it has around 18.6 million downloads so it's a very popular extension so just click on install to install this uh, extension and once this extension is installed you can see you can uninstall or disable this extension later also once this that is installed i can close this window and as soon as i have installed this code runner extension i can see this uh, run code icon in front of uh, the file right so on top right you can see this new option to run your uh, javascript code so when you click on this uh, uh, run code option you will be able to see your code will be run automatically you don't need to type anything on the terminal it will run automatically right so let me add a few more options and then save my code and then i can rerun it and it will rerun my code and it prints hello world with all these uh, symbols right now if you want to create more complex programs let me show you how you can do it so for example uh, if you want to create a node.js server you can find this code anywhere uh, on internet just search for how to create a simple node.js server and this uh, code you will find there right and this is a javascript code and what it does is it creates a server which you can run on uh, your browser and it's going to show you the hello world output right so let me just run this code and once it's running you can see it says server running at this uh, ip address and this port so i'm going to just uh, copy this or i can just uh, control and click on this okay so control press control key and then click on this uh, link which is going to open this on your uh, browser so let me just uh, paste this link and then it prints hello world as you can see here so you can uh, even create some server code which is also written in javascript as you can see test.js right so this is how you can uh, run the javascript code on your visual studio code editor additionally you can uh, install many javascript related extensions so just type java script here and then press enter and you will see many javascript related uh, extensions so you can install all these popular extensions you can see uh, this uh, extension is downloaded 11 million times so this is very popular right and then you have this uh, TypeScript extension javascript debug extension so you can uh, install all these extensions and all these extension will help you to uh, develop your code and run your code efficiently
okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video